Indiana Republican lawmakers are looking at a closer, taking a closer look rather, at the state income tax. Yeah, CBS 4's Kristen Escal reports now that includes the possibility of eliminating it altogether. Indiana has seen a budget surplus in recent years and revenues are projected to continue growing. That's why some state lawmakers want to create a commission to study the feasibility of ending Indiana's state income tax. We're looking for a transformational change. Republican State Senator Travis Holdman says Indiana is in a good position financially to consider that kind of change to its tax policy. I think the goal for Indiana should be to totally eliminate the individual income tax rate in years to come. Holdman's bill would create a commission to study Indiana's tax policy over the next two years and consider the possibility of ending the state income tax. Indiana is projected to bring in $7.5 billion in income tax revenue this fiscal year. That's more than a third of the state's total revenue for the year. The question is, where do you get $7.5 billion from? Democratic State Senator Fadi Kadora says he's not opposed to studying the idea, but is concerned the end of the state income tax would mean an increase in other taxes. If you look at other states across the nation, those who eliminated their state income taxes, they had other replacement mechanisms. Governor Eric Holcomb shared mixed feelings about the idea. He says although it might be a way to make the state more attractive to potential residents, he acknowledges income tax revenue makes up a significant portion of state funds. When you talk about doing away with one tax to the tune of multiple billions of dollars, you have to either replace it or go without. And so that is what I'm most interested in seeing is what is the alternative. Now, this doesn't apply to local income taxes, which vary by county. Now, last year, state lawmakers did approve an income tax cut, reducing the state's income tax from 3.2% to 2.9% gradually over the next few years, as long as the state hits certain revenue benchmarks. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.